Good Monday morning to you. Look what we got. Another batch of eggs. Looks like at least half of them are good. I think she might have laid them in the, in the afternoon and I didn't check. A few of them don't look good, but most of them look good. And for you guys, we've been getting a lot of uh, messages about people asking for purple tagers. Purple tagers are very interesting. Um, look at her, she's a nice purple. She's very excited, see how she has that green hue on the head. Her pattern is completely broken up on the back. Yeah, she's excited. So uh, if you're looking for purple takers, we're gonna have in about 65 days, but real quick, I wanna explain to you guys. Some people ask how come there's no more pink panthers, how come there's no more purples, how much? Let me explain to you real quick how that works. Tegus only give good eggs for a few years, and then the eggs start to wane. Now, I probably shouldn't be giving away trade secrets, but I don't think that many people watch these videos that really care. But so when you see somebody that has a tegu that you like, it's not gonna be like forever. The black and white tegus, people are still producing in big quantities. I'm still producing in big quantities because there's new black and white tegus always coming around. There's lots of them in the marketplace. But when you do a line breeding on something, a line breeding means that you're producing something by putting other things together that don't naturally occur in the wild. That's called line breeding. And when you do a line breeding, it's only gonna be around for a few years and you're not gonna produce that many. Like the super blues, they're gonna be gone next year and I don't know when we're gonna produce more. The ultra purples, I don't even know if I'm gonna produce any ultra purples this year. So if you have those and you like that particular look, you guys have to produce them yourselves, especially during this time when it's so important to produce them because the government's gonna stop this whole thing soon. I mean, the government, there's no question about it. You know, they blame every virus that China or any other nation produces on animals. And it's the animal rights activists that are having a field day with it because they say, oh, you can't import this, you can't import that, it, it produces this. And listen, one by one, they're gonna take everything from us until there's very little left. And all you're gonna be able to get is is some captive born leopard geckos or Pac-Man frogs, maybe, maybe bearded dragons, because they're gonna stop those too, because most of those are produced in South America and Central America. But anyway, so we do have purples coming and we will have them for you. And if you're looking for uh, answers as to why these certain animals don't come around, there's no more pink panthers. I'm out of pink panthers. I don't have any, I'm not gonna be producing any more because the way I got the true pink panther, not other people now, there's other people that produce pink panthers. They call them pink panthers. They're just really stealing my name, which I could care less about, you know, have fun. But true pink panthers was a red blue cross with an albino purple. That was what a pink panther was. That was a high ratio albino tegu, I'm sorry, albino red tegu. Nobody's producing them. They say they are, but they're not. That was my, that was my breeding. They can try, that's all the best. I wish them the best. But that's why you don't see them around, guys, for you guys that have been asking. So, nice batch of purple eggs. We'll have some more coming to you. Thank you for watching. Woosh.